So we'll start this week out with two pairs of shorts. So I was in 34s, and now all my 32s are fitting are fitting me. Make sure I get that amount. So I was wearing 34s, and now all the 32s are fitting me. So uh, as far as the scale goes, I'll go ahead and leave it up right here or right here, whichever one. Probably right here. I, well, there'll be last week and this week. So last week and this week. Um, I'll put them up there. Um, let's see. Um, dehydration. That's going to be my biggest, biggest problem right now is dehydration. My wife keeps asking me why I'm not mentioning um, belches. Man, I. it's not that I get flagellant like it comes out my butt you know i'm not getting gas uh, as a as in passing gas uh belches though man i just i'm constantly belching and i think that's only because the system's running slow in there you know so well i mean it's slowing down the food and then when you add a little bit more food you then you get extra air but uh i'm not the only one there's a couple other people there's uh some people at my wife's job uh some um people there that that or one guy that, that takes it, and he's a big heavy set dude, and that's what he talked about. He talked about his gasping, his belches and stuff being pretty pretty bad. Other than that, I mean, it, dehydration, and what I mean by that is, like, my hamstring, oh, my. I can't stretch this enough. I can't massage it enough. Um, it's limiting me to going to the gym right now. Um, so... Next week, I do my blood work, and then November, uh, I think it's like November 6th or something, I uh, is, is my next doctor's appointment with, with this doctor here. Uh, I don't get to go into him, which kind of stinks because, I mean, I am down, you know, 40 pounds or so now, but um, I'm right at it, you know, because uh, I have some other questions for him, uh, some other things that I would like to try to do along with this. I am noticing the skin, some flabby skin. So I, my skin's getting loose. So I'm going to have to not try to maintain on my legs. I'm going to have to try to do a lot of resistance um, with, with my upper body and, and do a lot of resistance training on my upper body. That way I'm not limiting or hurting my leg anymore. So right now I'm, I'm icing, I'm heating, I'm, uh, what else, uh, Tiger Bomb. Biofreeze, whichever one, you know, I have both of those. I like both of them. They work. Uh, but my, my calves, uh, you know, started with the calves. The calves still get sore every once in a while. Like they, they're ready to lock up. And then, of course, um, the, my hamstring, it, it's the worst. Uh, I think that it is time to go to 7.5. I don't think that the 5 is working as much. Where the first two weeks on the 5, I could eat something if i ate too much to you know say i ate too much for dinner and then that night as i'm laying down i mean i just i it took every ounce of me to hold it down because it just wanted to come back up now i kind of like last night so uh, i'm here in, in south texas and we got our first cool front yesterday so um normally normally when it's the cold front when it's cold cold is normally when i do my first chili i make a heck of a chili but I did a chili last night, and I mean, I had a pretty decent, I probably had two servings worth in my bowl. Um, I only had one little bitty piece of cornbread, though. It was just, it was basically all protein besides the beans. Uh, I did, I did go up like a half a pound, but I haven't been to the bathroom or nothing else this morning. So, uh, not that y'all, you know, really want to hear that. But again, I'm giving my review and my, my journey with this Manjaro, so. But yeah, um, I, I, I can kind of eat a little bit more, but there again, at the same time, I never had a problem with, I didn't have a problem with food chatter. I just, a lot of people, and I, and I repeat that, and I don't want to be broken record, but I repeat that. I never had a problem with food chatter. I only had a problem with sweets and I still have a sweet tooth. It's like every day I still got to eat, um, some lilies. Or I get some carb smart ice cream and I have to have something after I'm done. It may, if I can get that sweet craving under control or out of me, maybe when I get down to, you know, a little bit more weight down, you know, maybe if I get back down to my normal 180, you know, 
231 right now, so 180. So what do I got? 30, 50 more pounds to go. And if I go keep going at the rate I'm going right now, if I could do more exercise, I know I can get it down more. So again, I'll I'm gonna just start resisting bending my upper body, so I'm not using my my quads and my calves. But I can't do too much cardio until I get this my calves and my and my hamstrings under control. I just can't. I mean, I don't want to I don't want to tear anything and, and injure myself doing this. So. Which kind of stinks because, I mean, I know that I'm getting thinner and I need to go ahead and start working out. I need to start doing my crunches. Uh, maybe I'll do some laying down in bed crunches. Uh, I like to use a big yoga ball uh, to do my crunches so it, it helps my back and it's not bad on my back. Maybe I'll start doing them in the bed instead. Uh, I'm, I'm getting where I can bend over. Uh, like when you try to touch your toes, you know, I, I could barely get down to my knees when I first started this. And now I'm almost about to my, my fingertips are about down to my ankles. So I am just trying to do my stretches. I am stretching. So other than that, uh, cotton mouth is not the dry mouth. It's not really there. I it's early today. I just actually did my injection. I kind of feel like I'm getting a little bit of dry mouth right now. And I know some people are like, Oh, it doesn't work that fast. I'm telling you right now, whenever I do my injection, within an hour, I start getting the, the, the dry mouth, and I feel it, and I have my water here too, just in case, you know, because uh, of the dry mouth. But no, other than that, I'm not getting no major uh, constipation. I, again, uh, I do know, last week I was talking about how I went to the other end of constipation where, where I got too loose, and that was my probiotic. So when I, I if I separate my probiotic every other day, then it kind of keeps me regular and instead of constipated or, or too loose. So um, putting a good probiotic in there, we'll get it done. I'm taking my vitamins. I'm taking my electrolytes. I'm drinking electrolytes. So... Uh, I think me and the doctor, I think we have a few things that we got to talk about and go through, but hopefully y'all are, you know, whoever's watching these, hopefully y'all are liking this. These are being informative to you. If so, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and, uh, you know, share this, uh, go ahead and leave a comment, leave a comment. You know, uh, if you think that I'm doing complete trash, leave a, a, a crap emoji down in that comment. Just, just leave a comment down there. And if you're not subscribed and you want to come along this journey and me reviewing the Manjaro right here you want to watch me go through this or you're thinking about this, you're, you, your doctors mention it, but you're scared. You see some of the, you know, some people gripe about some symptoms, this, that, and that go ahead and follow me along. Everyone's body's different. And of course I was scared, you know, uh, especially with all the health problems that I do have, but, uh, come, come along this journey with me. Uh, again, I'm still my ring. I mean, I'm just, I'm getting my, my hands back. But again, with my age, you know, I am starting to see the old spot or the old skin, should I say, but also my skin being, being thicker for a few years, you can see where the skin was stretching, where it's come back down. But no, other than that, I mean, again, I got to tighten everything up. So, uh, if I don't, oh, one other thing, my mouth. Okay. I have no teeth. So some of the medicines from the, from the Lyme disease that I took, took out my teeth um, and I can't wear my dentures. So um, and unless I make it here on YouTube to go get implants put in, I'm not going to have no teeth anytime soon. And that kind of limits me a little bit on nutrients uh, a little bit. But what I have noticed though, is I am starting to really shrink around the mouth where even my mustache, I mean, I need to shave now, but even my mustache right here, whenever I'm eating is now rubbing the skin raw because the skin's getting um, really, really, it's starting to hang. It's starting to get really thin. So, um, which is expected whenever you're on this and whenever you're losing weight, you know, you're only supposed to lose, you know, no more than three pounds a week. And you got to figure the first two weeks, three weeks, I mean, I was losing five, six pounds a week. So, and now I'm, I'm tapering down to where it's only two to three pounds a week. So, Now's the time where I need to really, really start focusing on tightening and not so much worry on the scale, but worry about all my measurements. So, uh, because muscle weighs more than fat. But anyways, I'm Thomas with Tomology. 
Thank y'all for watching. Hopefully y'all are on this journey with me.